Can you tell me your full name? Brini Mary Jefferson. And I'm going to ask you a few questions, okay? So, do you think that boys are better at sports than girls? Boys are just more competitive, and girls tend to be more flexible, but... And yeah. do you think it would be weird if a girl played for, like, a boys basketball or, like, football team one day? If she was, like, the only girl? Not really, that's her decision. Hi, my name is Stella Guernsey and I'm a basketball player. A few weeks ago I was scrolling Instagram when I came across a video titled, Play Like a Girl. After clicking on it, I discovered that it was about a female athlete named Sarah Fuller at Vanderbilt University. She's an extremely skilled goalkeeper on the women's soccer team, but was asked to play on the men's football team as a kicker due to players being unable to attend because of COVID. Being a female athlete myself, I thought this was great until I look through the comments. Is it bad I want her to get rocked? I mean, it's only fair. They couldn't have grabbed one from the guys team. Someone better tackle the f out of her, make her realize it's 2020, but you shouldn't be on the mother field. What's the big deal? How is this still present in our society? I'm gonna ask you a question, okay? Yeah. Who do you think the best athlete in our grade is? In our grade? Yes. I think Barry. Well, Drew Moselle. Nick. Nick Cole? No, uh, Zito. Would probably be Will Zhang. Say Barry Castelli. Arthur? Arthur? Yeah. And how come you said a guy right away? Oh. I'm just wondering. I don't know. I just haven't, like, went to their games. Because I play with a little more than girls, so, like, I know how he plays. Now that's messed up. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I'm just good friends with Drew, and I think of him first. Why did you say guy? Because of science. Who do you think is the best girl athlete in the grade? What's your what's getting you? Either Sarah is or Rachel or Sarah. Sarah Fraser. Sarah. Sarah Fraser. Uh, Sarah Fraser. Sarah Fraser. Sarah Fraser. Uh, my name is Sarah and Lobo Fraser. Because you are a female athlete, have you ever been discredited or um, been told things that are supposed to make you feel lesser as an athlete? Um, definitely. I think even coming from referees and stuff like that, who like um, ref my games and stuff, you can see that they treat me differently. When I watch the boys' games, they treat the boys differently. So yeah. So Cavs Classic obviously is a very big thing at Collingwood. It's like one of the staples of playing basketball at Collingwood. Um, yeah, so grade seven was our first one, I think. Yeah, grade seven was our first one. And so there's the boys' calf classic and there's the girls' calf classic. And all these teams from different schools come and they play and it's a whole day thing. It takes over Thursday, Friday, Saturday, whatever. And so for the opening game, the boys, they got their game hyped up. They got an announcement, they had a smoke machine, what else did they have? Did they have, they had music, strobe lights, strobe lights a, a slideshow. You would think that they were NBA players or at least college players at this rate. <laughs> they are grade seven boys who lost every single game that tournament. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then the boys always get the first game and they get the time during breaks, during recess or whatever, so that everyone can come watch. So they got the first game and then Everyone came to watch. They had this big celebration. And then ours was the second game, right as soon as everyone went back to class from recess or lunch or whatever. And so we didn't get any of the same um, hype as they did. I think there was like a couple teachers who came to watch our game. Um, yeah, it was a very blatant difference in the way the school valued both of our teams, both of our games. Do you want to tell us what we've won? Oh my gosh, the list is too long. <laughs> um, well, we won North Shore. Um, what is that, North Shore? North Shore Juvenile Girls Basketball Award. Yes, we've won Cav Classic like a multiplicity of times. Um, ISAs twice. Um, yeah, VNDs as well, Vancouver and Districts. We've been to provincials too. We've been to a lot. <laughs> Some of our 
um, guy best friends are on the boys basketball team and even they don't really show equality towards us. Yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah, I feel like they are like, oh no, like we're friends, like we support you. But then when it actually comes down to it, when it's actually like coming to watch our games, coming to support us, like coming, like talking about our basketball season, they just don't, they're like, no, that's not, that's not the way it is. Like, you're the girls team, <laughs> you know? But yeah, I mean, they're still my friends. Like, what are you gonna do? Uh, my name is Rachel Chate. I grew up playing netball, um, volleyball, like soccer, track, but I mainly focus on basketball. Are there any other stories you want to talk about, about anything that's happened, like, misogynistic wise, I call me that? Um, yeah, for sure. Just like the recognition of just being an athlete. Um, like we've had so many games, we've had so many wins and so many accomplishments and um, we have to beg just to get that recognition. Like, and seriously, just like, just it's just as an athlete, you want to feel accomplished, right? And I think a lot of people have missed seeing the things that we were able to do and that's their loss because of maybe it's too difficult for them to to spend time like um i remember a situation where we had a game and we we ended up winning the cab classic in 10th grade and i heard from a teacher that his class didn't go because he thought it would be boring to watch a girls basketball game mm -hmm. so I think it was the first time the girls had ever won the grade 10 Cab Classic and they missed that piece of history because of, you know, their own prejudices. This is what it's like. This is what it's like. This is what it is like to be a woman in sport.